This is the final presentation for our show, Seeking Justice, by group No Fear, which consists of Andrea Sotka, Sarah Ruaz, Lacey Herman, and Natalie Rodriguez. Our summary for this TV show is the NYPD is taking on a new wave of officers and the rookies are being assigned to the most experienced officers on the force. Officer Nick has been assigned to train with Lieutenant Chuck. Through their training, the two develop a strong bond. The show follows Nick as he learns the skills necessary to manage and train new recruits and make difficult decisions on the job. On a call, Nick witnesses Chuck take the money from evidence and has to decide whether to tell the chief of police. Our target audience are men and women between the ages of 18 to 35, suitable for all, and targeting those entering and currently in the labor force. Nick is a 24-year-old rookie officer who just graduated from the academy. He lives with his girlfriend of four years, Ashley. He is very happy that Chuck is his trainer because he's not judgmental. He decided to become a police officer when he was nine years old when he witnessed his mother being murdered by burglars when they broke into their mansion in the Hamptons. As a result of this trauma, he has developed a strong sense of justice and the ethical judgment but growing up without a mother caused him to lack confidence in his abilities. Chuck is a 46-year-old veteran police officer with the NYPD who has provided exceptional service to his community and department. He is very well known and is liked by his fellow officers and citizens alike. He has been in the force for 20 years and is in charge of training the new recruits. He had much of a family, being divorced with no kids, and over the years, he has become bitter and angry at the world. Being that he spends his money drinking and gambling, he does not have any savings. He has a very trusting relationship to Nick and thinks of him as family. Chuck views his responsibilities of training new recruits as the traditional manager would manage their team. Ashley is Nick's girlfriend of four years. She is 23 years old and about to graduate from NYU majoring in theater. They have been living together for the past two years and plan to get married next year. Ashley does a lot of volunteer work for the local women's shelter. She looks out for Nick since he is not very confident and tends to make a lot of mistakes. She convinces Nick to do the right thing and to tell the police department of Chuck's actions. The chief of police is 49 years old and planning on retiring in one year. He is a veteran of the Marines and has won many awards for valor and ethical decisions. He and Chuck were partners for several years before he became the chief of police. He has been married to his high school sweetheart for 21 years and they have three children, ages ranging from 15, 17, and 19. He has a very laid-back personality but knows how to build strong relationships with his subordinates in order to be effectively manage the police force. We have incorporated target management concepts into our TV show. Whistleblowing, when an employee discloses illegal or unethical conduct on the part of others in the organization. Integration, the extent to which various parts of an organization cooperate and interact with each other. Code of ethical conduct, a formal statement that outlines types of behaviors that are and that are not acceptable. Standard operating procedures, established procedure for action used for program decisions that specifies exactly what should be done. Ethical dilemma, having to make a choice between two competing or arguing valid points. Moral rights approach, focuses on examination of the moral standing of actions independent of their consequences. And the universal approach choosing a course of action that you believe can apply to all people under all situations. In the first episode, the characters and workplace setting will be introduced. This scene will begin with Chuck meeting Nick, the new officer in training assigned to him. In this scene, there will be a brief overview of Chuck and Nick's personal life, as well as their personalities. Nick 
learns about the NYPD's standard operating procedures and the code of ethical conduct. Nick is also shown how different parts of the police department work together, which is an example of integration. In this scene, Chuck starts training Nick and teaches him about ethical behavior and showing empathy. He also teaches Nick the importance of withholding judgment until he has assessed the situation completely so that he can make the ethical decision without letting a skewed perception get in the way of his decision. This episode will also focus on teamwork. Chuck and Nick are growing to know one another over time. In this scene, Chuck and Nick will be shown bonding over drinks. Chuck has learned hard lessons during his life due to poor decision making, including time management, which he imparts to Nick while at the bar. The next night, Chuck and Nick are the first responders to arrive at a crime scene. After inspecting the crime scene, Chuck notices the murder victim has a bag of money lying next to him. Chuck takes some of the money and tells Nick not to say anything. Nick arrives home feeling conflicted and confides in his girlfriend Ashley regarding what Chuck did. In this episode, Nick is faced with an ethical dilemma. Chuck is also faced with the same dilemma as he reasons within his mind about whether or not to take the money. Nick is written to inform the chief of police about what Chuck did. Nick realizes that it would be the most ethical decision, so he informs the chief of police. In this episode, Nick uses the moral rights approach as well as the universal approach. Our team would like to take the time to thank you all for viewing our presentation. We hope that we were able to shed light on some of the concepts of management in a fun and unique way. Thank you again.